desperate for water. Palestinians queue at this and manage desalination plant in Khan Yunis every day for what little there is to distribute. It's been a long time since I drank cold water. There's no electricity at all. Even if you buy cold water from outside, it would cost you five or six shekels. I don't have enough money. Even the water we drink here is not properly filtered. It's a mix of salty and fresh water. Before the war, this plant provided 20 million litres of fresh water every day to around 250,000 people. Now, the facility can produce only a fraction of that at just 15% of original output. And it now also serves more than 1 million people, four times what's designed for, most of them displaced by Israel's bombardment. After the Israeli army destroyed power lines to the plant, it has been forced to run off backup generators using fuel which is rapidly running out. Sooner or later you will have a failure because of lack of spare parts or lack of uh, fuel or having no replaced generators even. No, these generators was designed from the very beginning to be as a standby generators, backup. Never ever we think that we will reach the point to operate the whole plant for 12 hours by the generators. It was in our dreams. But that could soon change. Palestinian workers, in coordination with the Israeli forces, are now attempting to connect an external power line to the plant. We've received a request to restore lines to reconnect a desalination plant in Deir al-Balla. We started working with whatever available resources we have, and we're in contact with all relevant organisations to provide the components needed for this line. If the electricity supply is restored, the plant will once again be able to run at full capacity. Even then, it will be far from enough to provide the population of Gaza with fresh water. But for these Palestinians, it will provide at least some relief. Tariq Abazoum, Al Jazeera, Dar al Balah, Palestine. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.